I'm Sarah. I'm Gus. And we're from Caro Caro Panita. First you fall down, then you jump back up again. Find your rhythm, momentum is the key. It's so easy, anyone can trampoline, so jump oh, in. Oh, hands down. Yeah, hands down. Yeah. Hands down. Because, I mean, Hapsilem Miku is a cool, cool phenomenon, and no, you know, lots of love for the Hapsilem Miku structure. But Perfume was one of the great pop acts of the last century, honestly. You know, and yes, don't tell me yeah. is a great producer <coughs> and they've got songs and their show is amazing. Yeah, and Perfume for sure. Oh, oh Lily, Allen. Lily Allen. Lily Allen. Lily Allen. I mean, Adele is, <coughs> Adele is pop phenomenon of the decade. Big respect to, to her for that. But Lily Allen made some really good records, honestly. Like, Alright, still has some great stuff on it. Jamie, yeah. so then Jamie's not here because he's a big he, yeah. he's a big rep of Alright Still. There's some really fun pop music on that record. Like her earlier, well her first album. Exactly, like, Lily Allen. Lily Allen. Oh, that's a, oh, hard, that's a one. hard one. This, this, this interview is difficult because it's very tricky to not sound like you're dissing certain artists. Yeah. Who would you listen to if you had two CDs by Ed Sheeran? It would be Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. I think, um... I think Sam Smith's from him. Really? Yeah. How come? No, I just sometimes need his, like, sub songs. Neither of them are, are really doing, you know, exploring a scene that I'm that invested in, let's say. But I have to say that I think, um, there's that one Ed Sheeran song, um, I think he did it with Pharrell, right? One was a big hit. That's a pretty good pop record, actually. I, I'm, I have to say, I have a lot of respect for that record. Ooh, I Ayumi think Ayumi Hamasaki, yeah, 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 I think would get that. I grew up with her songs in Japan, so I can't, I can't deny her. Yeah, Ayumi yeah, 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 definitely. yeah. The queen of Avex. Yeah. Interesting about both of them is that there aren't many J-pop acts now who are like that. There's no one in J-pop at the moment who is fulfilling the kind of roles that you know, Hamasaki or Kumi did. They're both classic, but Ayumi Hamasaki is, is mega classic. I think musically CL has been on more stuff that I really dig. Um, I'm interested to see where her solo thing goes, because it's almost like she's sort of going in the like, if Justin Bieber now was a Korean woman direction, which I don't know how much there is to reap from that, but I feel like she's such a good performer, such a good personality, that she's got the potential to make like an absolutely barrier-destroying record, but she's easily good enough to do it, and it could be very interesting. 